guys and welcome to this spontaneous vlogging trip. Today we're heading off to Birmingham for MCM Comic Con and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love attending Comic Cons and usually I go to Manchester every year and I think we still are going to Manchester and I'm super super excited because we've just decided yesterday that we'd go for the weekend to Birmingham and go to the Birmingham Comic Con so it's Saturday now and tomorrow Sunday so we've got the priority entry tickets for Sunday and yeah I'm so excited because there's two guests as well from Umbrella Academy I think he's called the main character is called Lewis and Alison and they're like kind of like a couple in it um, and I binge watched Umbrella Academy on Netflix and it was so fun. I think it's by DC, but I'm not sure how true that is. Oh, hi Fluffs. Hi Fluffs. But I'm so excited because I loved Umbrella Academy. I binge watched it and it's been a while since I've really just like got through like a whole series within two days and I, so I'm super excited to watch their talk and um, I hope they're doing a talk because normally they have a stage at Manchester so I don't know what to expect here they have like a separate theatre area and I love sitting and watching like the talks and the presentations and the interviews of different artists and, and actors and things like that so I really hope they're doing a talk on Sunday because I'd like to do that and then I'm super excited to go around Artist Alley and see some familiar faces that are see every year at conventions and yeah I'm just genuinely excited I really wish I had like one of those sims plum bobs so I could just like impromptu is that the right word impromptu um impromptu cosplay and just like stick it on I really want to get them I've seen them getting sold at last convention so um maybe they'll sell them there and I can buy it and I can just <laughs> literally play sims every time I go to conventions lazy cosplay I know but it's better than no cosplay am I right yeah long journey ahead let's go shall we my mum's gonna watch Fluffs while we're away. Bye Fluffs! Mwah. Hello guys, we've arrived at our premiere. Hey guys! Shut up Matthew, you're so <laughs> You're so annoying, Matthew. Who brought Shut this up. in on this trip? I paid for my portion of the trip. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, we made it here and we actually got to our room, which was like a million miles away from reception. We walked into the room and we booked a family room and um, it wasn't made up. There was no second bed and it hadn't been cleaned or anything. So we were like, what the heck? And it was an older room in the Premier Inn. Me and Dean literally love Premier Inns. That's why we come every single time and go away because we really like the breakfast and we like the comfy beds but it was an old room and it wasn't made up so we had to drag all our suitcases back down to reception and she changed our room and then we've got this big family room and it's a new room as well and it's close to the lift and reception well done for me for being a grown-up and going back down and complaining to reception so now we've got this big room big family room whoop, whoop, you cozy there Dean you look very comfy there don't you so yeah, that's what we're doing and I'm all unpacked because I like to unpack everything like this when I arrive somewhere and I kind of like make it my home and everything. I've unpacked everything. I've got my MacBook and my laptop over there because I'm going to do some Patreon work in a sec and then we're going to go out for tea, aren't we? He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> that was so anti-climatic. What was this? Also, I'm a little embarrassed. My bag broke the other day. So I'm having to use this pink gym bag but I actually really really love it because it's got all these different slots so I have my sketchbook in here and then I have like my pencil case in there and then the other slots I put like my charger and like my battery charger and stuff and my camera and stuff in there and then I put my G7X in here it's really handy because it's got all these big compartments like this one as well so even though it's a gym bag I just look like I'm really active <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> Annoying! What <laughs> <laughs> are you back in? It? It's not a beating stick. It's part of the sofa. Has anyone else got a really annoying brother? Please leave it in the comments below if you've got an annoying brother. <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
Oh, uh, currently on the way to Cineworld to see um, Captain Marvel at IMAX, which is super exciting. I can't wait. We've got Cineworld cards, but Matthew hasn't, and we love going to IMAX, so it's going to be fun. Everywhere's shut, though. I kind of wish it was open, because I really need a bag, because I'm carrying my gym bag with me. We just had a really stressful time where we nearly bit each other's head off in the car, because our sat-nav was taking us was all totally over the place. Yeah. Totally yeah. Dean's fault. Totally Dean's fault. We're just blaming Dean. It wasn't. It was my Google Maps. Their Google Maps and my iPhone wasn't working. So we had a bit of a stressful time coming here. Then the car park was full. And then we thought we waited just for one car to come out. Ooh, there's, ooh, there's loads of food places. Anyway, we managed to get parked in the end, but very stressful experience. But now we're here and look, it looks cool. And then there's like food carts and stuff. And then we're just gonna find the Cine World somewhere. Oh, it's really cool here. Look at this. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Dean, this must be the casino up there. We found the cinema. I'm so excited because I like. Whoa, have you seen the ceiling? That looks wicked. Oh, and Shazam. I can't wait for this film to come out because it looks so fun. Oh, there's a gaming centre called the Vortex, and I think we're going to go in there either tonight or tomorrow. And then look at this floor. Right, we're going to book our tickets. Look at this ceiling and this massive screen that goes around like this. I literally feel like I'm in the future. We got our tickets, yay! Now to get some popcorn. that I was in the middle of writing a Patreon post on my laptop and the fire alarm went off so everyone in the Premier Inn had to be evacuated. I totally forgot to mention that so we had that and then we got in the car then we couldn't find the car park but it's all good and we've had a great night. Uh, Captain Marvel was good. It was a little bit slower at the beginning but she's super cool. I like her superpowers. Um, I did enjoy it. I just thought it was a little bit slow at the beginning but Never mind, I won't give away too much spoilers, but I'm really excited for the Avengers now. Oh, I'm getting tired holding you up. But now I am gonna finish my blog post for Patreon and get in my pajamas. Dean's already cozy in bed. And we're gonna stick the kettle on, have a piece of cake, and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for Comic-Con. First it's breakfast and coffee and then Comic-Con. See you soon then, all right, night night. Love you, see you in the morning. Morning guys, it's Comic-Con day and we are just about to get an Uber, even though it's only four minutes away. I need to turn the TV off one second. Uh, we're gonna get an Uber because it's only four minutes away, but it's a 20 minute walk and the car parking and driving was just a nightmare. It was like a maze trying to get there. So we want as little stress as possible and it's only about four pound for an Uber. So we're gonna book an Uber, even though it's only up the road, but yeah. Four minute drive or 25 minute walk, but there wasn't really any footpaths or anything. But someone couldn't be bothered to walk is what you mean. Yeah, I didn't want to walk 25 minutes, I've just done my hair and makeup. So yeah, I've got my water bottle here, ready to go. Are you excited Matthew? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and now I just need to check I've got my tickets, uh, check that I'm bringing you guys. I think I've got everything. The only thing is I had my phone on charge, or at least I thought it was on charge all last night, and it wasn't on charge. So Matthew's having to lend me his power bank. So thanks Matthew, lifesaver. So let's go to Comic Con, shall we? It's such a nice crisp day today. Like it's a nice spring day. It's not too hot, but I don't have to wear a jacket and it's nice and clear and there's not a cloud in the sky and our Uber is three minutes away. An Uber because the parking is £16 here, so the Uber was only £4, I think it was. So, good choice with the Uber. Well, it looks like a really big venue, so look at the actual size of this building. So, it starts like around here and it 
it goes all the way around. I'm so excited to see everyone's cosplay and everything. That's my favourite part. Obviously, it would be rude not to get a coffee. Let's go, shall we? <laughs> These ones here are my favourite ones ever to get. But I'm not going to get any this morning because I'm feeling a bit sick. But look at them juicy bad boys. Just saying there, I absolutely love conventions. Since I started coming about 10 years ago to the first ever convention I ever been to, they have, the scene has grown so much in the UK. I knew it was like a big thing over in America already, but to see how much it's grown in the last 10 years over here, especially the MCM franchise, is absolutely amazing and makes me so happy. I feel like I'm in my element and when I look around at all my fellow geeks and everything and everyone is just having the best time and the favourite cosplay that makes them so happy. I don't know, it just warms us all so much and makes me like, feel a sense of like strong community and I absolutely love it and everyone's just really happy and having fun and in their element. That's why I love conventions so much and back when I was younger, anime and everything like that wasn't really that popular and no one in my school knew what it was and I never really connected with anyone about it so it's really fun to come to conventions and connect with like-minded people who love gaming and anime and things like that and how it's took off oh my gosh I love it I absolutely love it um so yeah I'm connecting with you guys as well over it it's so fun as well Ooh, I'm in the way of the coffee and sugar I've just ordered a flat white so that should be coming soon better move out the way but yeah I just love it I love the little community that it's grown and when I first ever went to the first ever MCM it was all in one hall and um, like literally everything the cosplay stage everything was in one hall in Manchester and now they have to open the full convention center do it over a full weekend it's just amazing how much it's grown and yeah I'm very proud if you're any of the MCM staff well done for making it bigger and better every year it's amazing I love it okay I'm gonna go and get my flat white now love you bird. look at this fancy Deadpool over here Brilliant, look at him. Oh my gosh. So we got the priority entry and it opens at nine. And this is the queue. But there's a dangly Spider-Man and there's something going on over here. Oh, I'm gonna have to get a picture here at the MCM sign. They've got escape rooms as well here. I love the orange flooring. MCM has orange flooring everywhere, it's so fun. Look, they have breakout, diffuse. Can you escape in 30 minutes? Oh my gosh, yay! So there's Comic Village over there, which is where we'll head soon with all the artists and stuff, which is good. I already noticed, I can already see some artists that I recognize. And then look at this massive area with all the stuff. Right, where should we start? Oh, there's the gaming bus. Last time we came to Manchester, it was so busy, we couldn't get in. But because it's so early and it's just opened, I think we'll have time to go inside. Can we go in? Yay! Woo. Let's go upstairs on the double decker. The laptops. Yep. Uh, up here we've got CSGO oh, departures. Is that it a go? Just jump on. Uh, let's go, do you want to have a go? Spoiling. I haven't played CSGO in ages. <laughs> Yeah, there's your and yeah, you can choose whatever. There's a chicken. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Look at all this merch. It's, oh my gosh, it's Belle. She looks yeah, amazing. Well, seeing all this metal artwork, it's amazing. That's so cool. <gasps> Look at the Transformers. That is amazing. Okay, so this is my two favourite things. So, so there's Tofu Cutie and I always buy stuff off this store. And there's Doki Japanese Tableware and I buy stuff off here every year and it's so cute. I don't know if you recognise but these bowls are what I actually use for my watercolours. Look how cute they are! And they're only about £3.50 but I usually wait till the end of the convention to get them otherwise they're smashed. But they're really really reasonably priced. Got ones with like cherry blossoms, cats in, that's a really cute ball, I love that. Now we've got these cute plates, how cool. Look at these mugs. Oh my goodness, they've got a website as well so I think you can check them out. But look at all these cute illustrations on the plates. Oh, 
this is really cute. It's a microwavable bowl and it's got like a lid on it. Now let's go to Tofu Cutie. These are adorable tote bags. I need a bag, so I'm on the lookout for a bag. These are cool. I like these. And then this one says squad goals. That's so cute. I want to get some of these on my way out because I love these. <laughs> gaming section over here. Look at this, oh they're playing on Fortnite. Surprise, surprise. And it kind of goes on, look at all these different things. This is a Sega Mega Drive, we've got one of them at home. This is literally my youth in one picture. So this side is a Minecraft side and it's empty. <laughs> and then that side's the Fortnite side. I don't know if they've opened this yet, but anyone want a keyblade? food section some Twinkies some Swedish fish I always see people mention these on Florida vlogs what's that? Nuka Cola what? have you never played a Fallout game? oh is that what's off? yeah marshmallow mega lollies it's me if I was a lolly and it's the perfect colour Twinkie me and Dean are going to try a Twinkie for the first time. This was a pound. You've already tried one? Cheetah! Let's see what all the fuss is about with these Twinkies, shall we? Oh, look at that Pikachu. <laughs> I 
That's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> That's adorable. Look at that little butt. Okay, trying a Twinkie for the first time. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. Thumbs up from me. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to Comet Village and Artist Sally. I'm so excited. This is so cute. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. How cool is that? Ah, it's turning. Hi. Whoa, look at the arms on it. Oh yeah, there's a fire on the front and then smoke comes out the chimney. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh there. I'm gonna get this now. Okay, so I've just been around Artist Alley and bought loads and loads of stuff. Now we're just sat at like this cute restaurant bar thing and I think I'm gonna get like a Jessica Kate or something dinner. I need to sit down so my legs are killing me and it's now half 11. So, oh my gosh, we've done that side of Artist Alley but there is so much more to see. There's about, about we've only done like a quarter of the, um, a quarter of common of the, We've only done about a quarter of the Comic Con, there's still so much more to see. But thank you so much, um, Holly. No, hang on. I need, I 
and I got to chat with Holly and Phil from Chow Illustrations. Oh my god, I love them so much. I met Holly and Phil on my first ever SunnyCon when I was actually a seller and an artist at SunnyCon and since then we've been friends and chatting on the internet and everything and they went to Japan and they're actually opening a YouTube channel so I'm so excited for their YouTube content. And I'm gonna do a little haul video of all the stuff I got from artist Ali and everything. I'm gonna do that in a separate video and show you what I got. But Holly also did one of my Draw This In Your Style challenges so I had to buy that. And they went to Japan and we've been discussing the potential of going together next year so i'm super excited i really fingers crossed that hopefully we can get something sorted because japan is my major bucket list place to go so that would be awesome thank you so much holly and holly you're such sweet people and for those who want to go check out her illustrations she kind of does the country full of conventions and stuff and her art is full of pastel kawaii goodness and it is this so if you want to go follow them i'll also leave a link in the description so you can go check them out on instagram holly and phil are literally the sweetest people and they're so so kind and lovely and she has the coolest fashion sense i love it and they also have all that japan uh, instagram stories like mini vlogs on their instagram feed like highlights so definitely go check that out if you like japan and stuff like that because i watched it all when they were going there and it's amazing so yeah it was so fun talking to them and meeting them honestly so now i'm gonna get some food and another coffee because i didn't get a very good night's sleep last night i think just being excited and being in like a hotel yeah it's uh, it's hard to sleep so yeah we're gonna get food now and then we're gonna put, carry on the rest of the convention and then the umbrella academy um guests allison and lewis i think is the main character starts in two hours so we've got ages so we're just going to take our time see you very soon all right love you goodbye foot long subway oh my gosh yummy it is. It was £10.60, so it was more expensive than usual, but yum. So it's a tradition, every time we come, we get these cupcakes from this cupcake business. Can you remember the name, Dean, of them? We don't know the name, but they have these glittery cupcakes, and every single convention we get one. What did you get? Ooh, peanut butter brownie. And they put this glitter on, and it makes it look so tasty, so cheers. <laughs> so cute.
it's coming to the end of the convention and I have spent a fortune. I think I've actually spent the most I've ever spent at a convention, but I got a jumper and a t-shirt and I bought loads of stickers and stuff. Oh, I've spent so much money. Oh. I'm gonna make sure to do a haul of all the stuff that I've got so that I can show you and you can see it. So watch out for the haul. I'll show you it. It's so cute stuff, so see you. Okay, I love you, bye. Hi guys, so it's morning. It's actually Monday. Uh, we've been for breakfast and had a chilled time, but now we have to check out the Premier Inn. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. We were gonna go to Cadbury World, but I think we're feeling a little bit tired and we've, uh, spent quite a lot of money at Comic Con. So I think we're just gonna do a little spot of shopping at Resort World, cause Matthew wants some vans. And then we're gonna head home. So I thought I'd end the vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Comic Con trip. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a haul video because it'll be quite a big haul video of all the artist goodies and stuff that I bought. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see it. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you so freaking much for watching. I love you so, so much. All right then, I love you. Goodbye.